Yes, I got along with him. I don't know, but I did hear some rumors from certain people that, you know, I wasn't one of his favorite people. So uh, I don't know that for sure, but I'm just telling you what somebody told me. But, you know, people will tell you stuff, too, you know, to keep stirring shit up. You can also get respect uh, fairly quick, too. Uh, D'Lo yeah. Brown made a comment just recently, uh, and he said, quote, I'll tell you this. So in WWE, we do dark matches. They're matches that no one sees on TV. So for about a year, John Cena kept coming in as the prototype. And the boys, all of us, would go up in the stands and watch the matches. And what we would do was laugh at John Cena saying, he's so robotic. Later on, he said he ate his words. They realized as time went on that he went from being robotic to being one hell of a damn wrestler in the ring. Teddy, your thoughts? Well, uh, that's true. John Cena did go to become a good work in the ring. You know what I mean? But uh, like I said, I like Cena. Nice guy. I just, you know, just, uh, you know, I, <laughs> I, I, I just really keep my comments to myself. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, I think there are people who either love John Cena or hate John Cena, and, and uh, that's what he kind of built his career around, you know, honestly. And and it, 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 there's nothing wrong with that. If if you don't like a particular talent and how they are in the ring, you know, that's just like ice cream. Uh, you might like strawberry. I like chocolate, you know, and that's just how it is. Doesn't mean I don't like you because you don't like chocolate. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, so. a lot of guys, you know, uh, <laughs> you know, I know the behind the scenes. <laughs> you know oh, yeah. what I mean? So. Yeah. I'm just saying, man, you know, that to keep down confusion and all this, you know, hey, like I said, he's a nice guy. I guess I got along with him. I don't know, but I did hear some rumors from certain people that, you know, I wasn't one of his favorite people. So uh, I don't know that for sure, but I'm just telling you what somebody told me. But, you know, people will tell you stuff, too, you know, to keep stirring shit up, you know, so I don't even pay that no attention. But like I said, I like I said, nice guy, like the guy, but I, I really have nothing to say. Let me ask you a question. I'm curious. Uh, did you ever watch the Divas show that he was on for a period of time with the Nikki and Brie Bell? Did you watch any of that? No. Oh, okay. They they showed him as a real buttoned up kind of a, I don't know, very stiff individual and things had to be just a certain way. And I, it, he always came across to me on those shows as almost being unbearable to be around. There you is, go. He, is that how he is in the back? Well, like I said, I'll keep my comments to myself. Okay. Yeah. I mean, because I mean, he kind of showed himself to me on TV. And when I saw that, I was like, I don't know that I like this guy as much as I used to. You know, there was a time when I, I liked and respected him, but I saw some of the stuff he did on that show. And I was like, okay. Uh, you, know, you had to have a suit if you want to go have dinner, you know, that kind of stuff. Just crazy. Well, we got to look at it like this, too. You know, that's TV. So yeah. some of that right there could have been what the producers wanted, the, yeah. whoever was, you know, doing the show. They may have wanted him to have that suit or portray that person that he was portraying on TV, or he could have, that this could, it could have been him, the real, you know, you saw the real side. So that we don't know. So that's why I said I don't comment on it, because I don't know what it was, he was instructed by TV to do yeah. this or whatever. We don't know. So I just rather leave it alone. Let me ask you about Heath Slater. Did you work with Heath Slater at all while he was in WWE? I, I thought you did. Yeah, I knew him before he even got in uh, WWE. I knew Heath Slater <laughs> when he was in, uh, but I think he came to face to face a little bit. You know, him and uh, Rick Borger. Well, when I first started face to face, the the thing was that Heath Slater and Rick, Rick Borger had uh, they were in partnership that they owned the place. So. Yep. Then I found out that not to be true, so I don't know. But Heath Slater was a real nice guy. I had the opportunity to work with him. Yeah, Heath Slater, I, I've met him several times. Very, oh, very came, nice bro. guy. He was with uh, the uh, guy, the school that was out on Fulton Industrial that Mr. Hughes was uh, training at. That's where I yep. met Heath Slater. Yeah, Heath Slater, actually, when I was in the Independence, uh, he came through. Uh, we worked a show in Milledgeville together uh, when he was really young, and he was traveling with some other folks at the time. And uh, you knew then this guy had something. So. Well, where is he now? Is he around now? Well, you know, that's the, we'll get into this in just a minute, but I have not heard of where he is. I, he's been quiet uh, ever since COVID. He kind of just faded away, and I knew he got injured and had to go through a rehab, but I would imagine he's well past that by now. Um, but he, he, let me kind of update you a little bit here. Uh, Heath Slater says he wants another run in WWE. Uh, he says, quote, I know if I can get another three-year run, I could probably be set with them. 
I'm looking at 40 now. I've told myself I'm not going past 47. Now, that's been my number that I gave myself when I got signed at 20. I've got another five to seven years that I feel like I could do this. So if we ever offer, if they ever offered, you know, I mean, it's the biggest place in the world to perform. And I was for my whole career pretty much right there. He wants to go back in WWE. Do you see a place for him in WWE? Well, I don't know. That I can't answer either because I don't know what, if he went back there, I don't know what WWE was seeing him now. I don't know how they would really want to use him if they did bring him back. So, I mean, this business is moving so fast now and, you know, things have certainly changed over the years. And I think with the talent that they have in WWE, a lot of great young talent, I mean, great young guys that are really busting their butts out there each and every week on that TV performing. So, you know, that's, to me, I don't, I'm just speaking this personally, you know what I mean? I just don't think Heath Slater has anywhere to fit in there. I mean, he could, we never know, but just seeing from what I see as uh, with today's, you know, product, uh, I don't see it. But like I said, I, who am I? I don't know because they could bring him in, see something and then find somewhere to put him, you know? So hopefully, you know, he can get that run, you know, God bless him, man. And he, he, he can re hopefully he get that run and WWE and retired 47. That would be great for him. Do you feel he was underutilized uh, during his first run with WWE that they, they could have done more with him? Or do you think that's, he kind of fell right where he was needed at the time? Well, I think he's just, right where he was needed at the time. You know what I mean? I mean, they gave him a good run. He got a good push there. You know yep. what I mean? So I don't, I don't, I don't see where, you know, I didn't, you, well, you don't hear him griping. He don't think that, uh, you know, he was uh, not done right there. But no. like I said, I thought that uh, when he was there, what they had him doing was absolutely great. You know what I mean? So everything comes to an end. Yep. <laughs> you know, and some guys have to realize that. And a lot of guys, you know, they just won't let it go. You know, they yep. won't take the cape off. You know, you have to take the cape off, man. It's over. But I do enjoy Heath Slater and Heath. I, I, you know, I know he's around Georgia quite a bit. I think he may even still live in Georgia. I'm not sure about that. But uh, yeah. we certainly wish you the best. And I, I'd like to see you know, like to kind of know where you are now. Because like Teddy said, I, it's been kind of quiet. I haven't heard your name in quite some time. And you're a hell of a talent. Right. Well, like I said, you know, a lot of these guys, they're just so eager to get back in the ring. You know, and like I said, he's like he's at he's 40. So he's still a young man. So he's able to get in there and take a few more bumps, you know. But I mean, I guess everybody don't feel like me. You know? <laughs> I, I'm just I, I, I don't even I'm, I don't even want to be, a, you know, be a part of it full time no more. You no. know what I mean? I, when they call me, go back, whatever. I, that's fine with me. But I can understand and I see it. You know, this business has changed and I just don't see where you know what i mean there's really nothing that you know i don't know i, ju I just don't know you, yeah. you don't know but like i said i'm enjoying you know doing what i'm doing i'm at i'm at home i'm doing signings i'm doing comic con so i'm, I'm working at my own pace i'm my own boss so I'm, and i'm loving every minute of it 